everybody, this is Joe Joseph, and this is the DailySheeple.com's New Shot. Ooh, science, my favorite. As ex- experimental protein reactors produce basic food from carbon dioxide and electricity, according to uh, News.com down in Australia. Ah, yeah, take one serving of CO2, apply some high voltage, wait a few weeks, and you've got a high-protein meal. Ah, could this be, my friends, the um, Soylent Green of the future, if you will? Hmm? Instead of, Soylent Green is people! See, we could be eating global warming for breakfast. Mmm! I mean, this has got to have Al Gore just, like, totally doing cartwheels out on his uh, front lawn. It says, take one serving of carbon dioxide, apply high voltage, wait a few weeks, and enjoy a meal of single-cell protein. It may not be a culinary delight, but it could be a uh, feed for the future. The creation of artificial food out of thin air with a few added microbes is a result of a study from a research group in Finland. And they say the food from electricity program is 10 times more energy efficient than the photosynthesis of plants. And such protein powder is not about to garnish our plates. It's too bad. I know. I know, everybody. Stop. I know the disappointment. But it may come sooner, you know, it may come sooner rather than later. However, not yet. Listen to this. It may soon reduce the strain on our crops by providing... An alternate source of fodder for animals. See? Ultimate protein reactors have the potential to create the building blocks of meals aboard long-duration space flights. And as a rapid response countermeasure to famine. Now, in the long term, protein created with electricity is meant to be used in cooking and products as, uh, you know, like an additive, if you will. So if you can add this in as a protein, why it's a very... Simple protein, it's a very cheap protein to add to food to give you your protein where, you know, it just may not be there. You know, kind of like poo burgers in Japan. Yes, I know, I digress. The protein's greatest selling point, of course, is its ingredients, sunlight and carbon dioxide. In practice, we should be able to make this material right out of thin air. Everybody, right? So all of a sudden now, you know, um, people can have like little home reactors that make this stuff and they could actually live on it if they want to. Uh, Well, not exactly live on it, but certainly augment their diet with it. You know, if you need added protein, imagine that, a protein generator. Instead of having to buy all these, um, uh, you know, expensive shakes and everything like that, the hell with it, you know? Or you may just be a vegetarian or this could be your way to vegan. Ah, now all of a sudden you don't have to eat anything associated with animals because you're just eating one-cell microorganisms. Yum, yum. Sounds good to me. Hey, it may not be the Star Trek replicator, but who knows? I mean, if it's a way to, to help even, you know, kill the sting of famine, which affects billions worldwide each year, I mean, it's almost as cool as those uh, billboards that take water out of the, out of the air and, hey, voila, you got five, 10,000 gallons of water a day. I mean, you just can't beat it. Water generators, food generators, life is good. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at TheDailySheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.